Carbon emissions in Athens caused more than a million dollars in damage last year. And the issue on the ballot will decrease that number, but it too comes with a price. Our News Watch at Noon reporter Elise Hammond is live in the newsroom. Elise, why should voters pay attention to Issue 3? Voters actually have a chance to make history. Issue 3, most commonly known as the Carbon Fee, would be the first program of its kind in the country. At a town hall meeting hosted by the Athens League of Women's Voters last night, Mayor Steve Patterson said the Carbon Fee is all about leading the nation. <laughs> $1.60. That's about what the carbon fee would cost Athens residents each month. My cup of coffee is costing more on a single day than this would cost per month. The program, introduced by the Southeast Ohio Public Energy Council, would create a fund that would add solar panels to public buildings. Mayor Steve Patterson says by saving on the city's utility bill, more money would be available for other projects such as a full renovation of Arts West. It allows the city to start thinking about what we can do with that otherwise budget electric bill and utilizing that money in other ways. If the issue passes, residents would have an option of opting out of the program. City Council President Chris Nisley says the program follows Athens' commitment to sustainability. We were also the first community in the state of Ohio to have curbside research. And the city of Athens has a few goals that they think solar panels like these will help them achieve. A couple of those goals include a 20% decrease in residential energy, a 20% increase of energy coming from renewable sources, and most importantly, a 20% increase in solar capacity in the city. And the idea of a historic step for Athens has community members like Joan Krenansky excited. And Athens will become maybe a really interesting hub for people to come and investigate, and we could offer them examples of how to go about doing this for all the community. Kranansky says she thinks the issue will pass, but stresses the importance of getting people to the polls. That's really important that we get everybody out to vote, or as many people as possible, regardless of their party affiliation. The city is considering Arts West, the City Garage, and the Athens Community Center as likely locations for some of the first solar panels. And anyone who wants to vote on the carbon fee can ask for an issue ballot regardless of political party affiliation. Uh, overall, the program is expected to generate eighty to $90,000 each year. Reporting at noon, I'm Elise Hammond.